Hello, it's Paul. I want to give you an introduction to Zoho Desk today. A quick walk around, show you the features, show you the things it can do. A little bit of training on, on certain items. But more than anything, this is this is us getting to know Zoho Desk and putting it into your mind whether you're thinking about using it or not. There's a trial that you can sign up for uh, and we're going to dive right into it. So just before I start, it's always good for me to know why you're here, why you're looking at this. So sort of what business are you in? Uh, and then I can send you in different areas of of um, maybe different videos that are more relevant to your questions. You can ask for support questions in YouTube. So just pause me, please, at this minute and just write wherever you read, wherever you're watching it. Just put a comment. Uh, this is why I'm here. This is why I'm watching it. What I'll also do is if you watch it on YouTube or on the Zoho forum, I'll, I'll itemize where each lesson starts, where each new topic starts by adding a timer underneath. Um, you'll see. I'll, I'll add the time of each lesson. So if you don't, if you can't consume this whole video in one go, you can come back and see where each lesson starts. But let's just have a quick walk around of Zoho, um, Zoho Desk to start with. I'm going to show you my Zoho Desk uh, and the forum. So... This, this is what Zodesk can look like on your website if you choose to use the the uh, the web page version of it. So you can add this, so mine support.paulnicholson.com, and when somebody comes to it, they can see, they can add a ticket, they can look at the tickets, there's a knowledge base and there's a community. So add a ticket, obviously you want, some, you want someone to contact you and create a support ticket. You can add information you can add edit these fields you can put in what um product so, you know so if somebody wanted to write a, a ticket about zoho training or uh being a zoho partner something like this they can add the priority level classification is it a question a problem a feature and then some um what's that called capture to make sure they're real humans and you don't get spam so once they've signed in and sent that they can see their ticket in in their area. They'll be able to log in and see this is my ticket. This is the status of my ticket. I can reply to that ticket. But obviously, they can reply directly via email as well. Um, so it's cool that they can log in and see what the status is of their uh, issue, right? They can also see uh, there's a knowledge base where you can add articles and put in frequently asked questions. You can embed this on your website as a little widget that sits in the corner and it comes up and it'll actually as they're typing in a problem it'll say maybe this is your issue maybe this is what you need fixing so the knowledge base is great to to um, offer solutions before they get to a ticket the community side you can actually start a forum where you can jump in and say say hello and then uh, kianan did so this is where i was going to use it as a community in a forum I actually have my own Zoho dedicated forum. So if you come to, to zoho.paulnicholson.com, this is where we talk about every single Zoho app because that's part of the Zoho One um, fleet of apps or the subscription for Zoho One. This is Zoho One Training, which is going to give every single app um, so you get the most out of it. I'm going to come to pricing next. And then we'll talk about it. But if you go to zoho.paulnicholson.com, you're going to see there is a Zoho desk category. There'll be my lessons will be added here. If you want, you can go through each lesson and learn everything about Zoho desk. You can also on my website, if you want a more structured training, I'm going to it's down the bottom here as I build it. I'm going to add Zoho desk training where you can come and it'll be lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. More structured. It's not going to be free, uh, but the Zoho forum is free if you want to do it in your own time. Okay? So let's talk about pricing first, because obviously if you're wanting it uh, free or you're part of your Zoho One subscription, it's going to give you different um, abilities and features. So if we go to a monthly pricing, there's a free version that you can use for free ver free agents, free free agents. Uh, you're gonna get the email inbox, work modes, customizable help center, the knowledge base, the forums, the rebranding, basic reports, agent dashboards, 
and everything you can see there obviously as you start paying more then you're going to get more and more features and you're going to get more things that you're going to want to customize and edit and make it really work for your area you know with custom tickets contract management you know so if people are, are on a support contract you want to be able to say well yes this person's supported this person's got that um, information um and and also other things so basically there's two, three features i'm going to show you the enterprise level one because if you sign up for zoa one if you're on the zoa one if you're in the z1 club with me then everything is included in your zoa one subscription at the enterprise level so you're getting 30 dollars per agent now zoa one's only 30 dollars a month per user anyway so even just sign up for zoa one if you've got more than five people makes complete sense to me because it pays for itself but i'm going to show you on the enterprise level so there's not going to be anything blocked um if i notice something that's free versus paid i'll, I'll try and point it out as we go but so that's the price and you're looking at uh, zero a month 15 a month per agent plus tax or 30 a month so let's close that we've done pricing i've shown you that and shown you that so let's go through the back end and have a look at, at some of the tabs. Let me just have a quick walk through the back end. So when you sign in, you'll see your tickets. You'll see open tickets, overdue tickets. Obviously, this is a, a trial account. There isn't a lot of tickets in the system. So that's where all your tickets are going to live. And you can filter to open tickets. You can create your own filters. Miss chats. Anybody missed a chat? Close tickets. You want to look for old tickets. Uh, or you're really going to look at open tickets, aren't you? And sometimes what you needed to check is um, spam tickets. Sometimes some tickets live in spam that you need to, like any spam folder, you want to you put a process in place to keep checking that spam. But it will try and tag when people are not real or they've asked spam questions. Then there's your knowledge base. This is where you're going to build your articles. This is where you're going to build your comments and, and map out knowledge base uh, articles where where you're hoping that it might relieve a little bit of pressure on your support desk by being able to p give people the answers to questions before they actually fill out a ticket into it. So you can you can see you can build out you can build out different knowledge bases for different products you've got or different brands, and say this is in that section, that's in that section. Customer section, anything with information on customers, you can sync it to your Zoho CRM. If you choose to, uh, a lot of people do because obviously there's cross there's cross related information. Any tasks, so so obviously, um, when a new ticket comes in, you might have to add a task to to respond to ticket or research information and get back to them. Uh, general task management of of running any desk, reporting, various reports on how many people, uh, how many tickets, how many are on schedule, how many have been done. You know you can you're going to have lots of different reports to say tickets by contact tickets on hold tickets overdue obviously i don't have a lot of information in ticket wise i would have shown you in mine but i don't want to share people's email addresses and stuff like that the community is the forum where you set up the forum areas of your um, of your support desk your web page uh, where people can come in and talk and and, and ask actively ask questions and, and get answers by whether it's your community or just your help desk people helping them out so social oh sorry the social tab is for connecting to to social media networks and being able to do um support support um my brain's just gone but support requests via social media so if someone sends a, a facebook messenger or writes on your wall your your uh, support desk agents will be able to reply to them without the need to log into your Zoho, it, into your Facebook or your or your Twitter or something like that. Did I explain that very well? Did I chat any live chat on the on the website? If people are you know come on and you want to do live chat, then uh, then you can do that as well. Obviously, up here the search you can add quick you can quickly add things, add a ticket even. Uh, any notifications will come up obviously set up there's a lot of things to do in the setup that you can change and then down here you're going to have chats where you can your agents can talk to each other 
uh, you know, while they're trying to serve a ticket, they might be able to say, hey, what's happening with that? Or, But we'll go through it. Contact information. Uh, and then some other tabs down at the bottom with with which we'll we'll go through as we get through it. So just a, that was just a quick flyby of all the tabs, right? So let's talk about getting that first ticket, getting the first ticket set up so that someone can put in a ticket in your system. That's the whole point of it, right? So we're gonna go to set up here and then channels. We're gonna see all the different channels that you can receive a ticket on. So if somebody emails this email address, if I copy this email address, so I have my email open, and I basically set up uh, help with Zoho, Zoho desk. Hello, I need help. That will create a ticket when that sends to that email address, right? So that's an easy one you just say to people, email support at happymeeting.zoodesk and they, that will create a ticket. Let's just have a look. Spam. All tickets too, right? So here we go. Uh, help with Zoodesk. And you're just going to reply. Hi. How can we help? and send that's the easiest way of creating a ticket creating a reply you can turn this off if you don't want them to see this good or bad it's buzz my phone's buzz so here's the email happy me ink has replied hi how can we help uh need a video on how to use soho desk send right and you can click good if uh how would you write uh, it was good wow just made our day cool that was my plan so that's the easiest way to ticket to reply uh here we go i need a video on how to use zero desk and then once it's closed if you're happy you can close the ticket right so that's the obvious just email this email address create a ticket now let's go back to setup and have a look at the other options so obviously the help center is a big thing. So this is your, this is your um, like my email address, uh, website address for that whole help center. So the Happy Me, we haven't set it up, but you can again edit things, log in if they want. But we're gonna we're gonna just do it right out the gate. Submit a ticket, and they can put in uh, Paul Nicholson. Oh, can never spell my own name. I think I'm close to needing glasses. Um, help desk at paulnicholson.com. Need help, please. Hello, I need help. I certainly do. Uh, product name, there isn't any product set up. I don't think I'll pick any yet. Uh, priority, let's go high. Clarification question. I'm not a robot, so let's put that in and submit your 103 need help please has been created so now there's a ticket and in the system ticket 103 need help please so that's another easy way of creating a ticket as you can obviously reply uh reply how can we help Send. I'm going to get an email. If I spelt my name right. Yep, there's my phone just buzzed in my pocket. Here's the email. How can we help, right? So two very easy ways right out the gate of, of setting up requesting tickets, requesting um, an easy way to just submit a ticket and then service it from your side. Uh, there's other ways you can do the chat you would have to embed this in your website i may come back to that and show you uh, i haven't got a test website at the minute the community you can start editing your community and create tickets from that obviously the social media aspects i may come back to this again again i haven't really got a test to to show you social media i'd have to use my own it's already connected so um phone phone ticket solutions would be you'd have to integrate with another place where they would they would 
receive the phone call and then put it into a ticket on your on your ticket system with these integrations so if you ever use any of them and then web web forms so obviously you might want to create a web form and what i'll do is i'll start a new lesson here so what we want to do is is create some form of widget uh that's going to be on your website create a face feedback widget for uh, feedback simply the process of capturing support tickets so uh, I don't know what the difference between the form and the widget is. I'm guessing the widget's embedded in the the form. I think the widget's something that pops out, and the form's just something that sits on a page, right? So let's look at the widget. So we'll create a widget. So we want it to be, uh, yeah, so we want it to be, this is what it's going to look like. We've got options to change it. We've got options to change titles. Thanks for your feedback. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as that. I'll I'll do deeper lessons later. I'm very wary of making this video twenty well two hours long, so I'm just going to go with the default stuff, right? I'm just going to save it, and it's going to say embed this script, uh, embed. So if you want it to pop up, you would do this. If you want it to embed, you would add this side, and then some areas will. Um, Depending on where your website is, sorry about what I'm saying as I'm looking at other things. So if you want it to pop up, you're going to add this code. If you want it to embed, you're going to add this code. And if you want it to, uh, if it needs to be an iframe, add this code. So let me just go here and embed this code in a post. So let's go Zoho Desk. Now this may not work on this forum because the embed, Zoho Desk, test, embed. A widget and then I would did I grab that code I would grab that code embed code and paste it here now if it works straight away I would be surprised yeah I'm where's the best way for me to show you this um Let me just pause you and I will unlock. What happens is on this forum, I have to say, yes, it's okay to embed stuff from that domain. So that's why it's not showing. So let me just change my settings so it'll work and then we'll talk about it in a second. Right, so I've, I've allowed that embed code to work. What I'm actually going to do is going to use this iframe. I don't think the embed code for me is going to work in my forum. So I'm going to use the iframe. So I'm going to create a new, how do I embed? A, a widget form right I'm going to delete this in a minute anyway so when I paste that code in it picks up the form so you may have to work out which will work on your website I would think if you've got a WordPress website and you're adding this information to to your post or what a page what you're doing the embed will work for you if you want it to show up in the corner with a little plus button put this in this the header code where you would um, usually put your like your Google Analytics or something like that. But don't worry, we'll break out a proper lesson for this and I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'll set up a, a, a temporary WordPress thing. I just wanted to quickly it, it show you how to use Zendesk really. Uh, Zendesk, Zoho Desk. So that's a quick um, way of embedding a form. So now if I go pull... Um, Embed at nicholson.com. I need help. I certainly do. I need help. Pull. Add in your 2NJW3S. Uh, you're not a robot, Paul. And submit. Thanks for your feedback. And it vanishes. Um, I suppose if you refresh it would come back. You may have to set up a welcome or a thank you sort of area for that. So that's how to quickly create a web form. Let me just delete that. Delete. Otherwise people will be adding stuff to my topic. If if you I really wanted to probably show you that, didn't I? Because it didn't show as as um as this on that form. So I really want it to show you exactly how it works so let's go here and pop up i'm going to go to my admin and i'm going to paste this into my header customize light in my header code so your header code where you put your analytics 
where you put information. Most themes in WordPress will have a header code um, box for you to, uh, to be able to add that to it. But just come on here and ask me a question if you're struggling. So if I preview that and I refresh, here we go, feedback. And that opens that box. Obviously, there's no there's no content, there's no knowledge based stuff here, but you could you could in theory type in whatever you were looking for. And if the knowledge base article articles were there, you could um basically serve them forward and say, is this what you need before you send a ticket, right? So hope oh, for that. I know it's a bit confusing, but like I said, this is just really a a video on how to how to see the features and the benefits of Zoho Desk, not necessarily exactly how to use it for you. Right, so that was that was how to do a widget and the same for the form. The actual the ASAP the is the it is a little question mark in the corner which I thought I was explaining for the last bit. So this is where you serve up the knowledge base and everything together um on the web. So let, let's just talk about that. It's gonna be a pop up that's a question mark that that shows contact information and, and serves knowledge base information. So if I go create web, do I want to show knowledge base? Do I want to show tickets? Do I want to show the community? I'm going to leave it on. All departments. Uh, choose method. I don't know what that means, but again, we'll look later. And save. Now here we go. Some, some code again. So I'm going to copy this code. Again, I'm going to find that header information on my website. Uh, I've just changed that, so let me refresh it. So I'm going to put it in the, in where that analytics is. For you, it's going to be different. Again, we'll talk about it. You can send me a message if you don't know where to put it on your website. And as I refresh, now I've got this little box in the corner that's going to pop up and say, uh, there is no content in the configured widgets. Yeah, so there's no information yet, but this is going to be where the knowledge base stuff is. This is where going to be tickets. You can create a ticket. Uh, here it would it would show I don't know if I can add a widget there it means add a widget at the back end but it would show the community the knowledge base the serve the articles let people search in information before they delve into adding tickets so this is a little cool feature and then if they're struggling they can add a ticket as well so you can you can edit it fully itemize it um, itemize it customize it and do what you want to do with it Again, I'm just showing you, I'm just showing the possibilities, not exactly how to use it. So let's have a look at a ticket itself and let's have a look in a big, in a, in a, a back end of a ticket. So I'm going to click on a ticket. I'm just going to go through and go through. I've already replied to this one, haven't I? I've replied to this one. Yeah. Uh, no due date. Let's go this. I wanted an unassigned one. Yeah, this one's got nothing done. So here's the email. If it's connected to your CRM, you'll be able to click CRM information. Here's who's assigned. So I could assign it to somebody else. I could say Sarah Sales. It's a sales question. Assign it to them. You could, in theory, have a department areas where you have, you obviously, your sales department, your HR, your accounting. And then you can change it to different areas within that if it's set up. Obviously, add a phone number. Create a due date that you need to do for this so it'll flag decide what uh what status it is any products you can add a product uh priority you can say it's a high priority class question problem so we're, all those things that were on the form right um you can go through and add a resolution for that and notify the contact that it's been resolved if it's been an issue you can reply straight away to the ticket reply to all or just reply Time entry, if you've got to go off and do some work, you can start a time, uh, you can start a timer and, and create, oh, you can create uh, time entries. Sorry, you take it up here. Add a timer saying this is how much time you've spent on this ticket. If you're doing billing stuff, you can attach files. You can create a task, add a new task. I've got to, I've got to follow up on this or create a meeting or speak to somebody whatever the task is, and then you can uh, decide, say somebody else needs to approve, say Sarah approve, approve uh, sales pricing. Uh, please let me know if the price is right. Something like that, submit for approval. So that would mean that Sarah sales would have to approve it and then history the history of the ticket 
uh, and obviously you can do other things you can edit you can move it to a different section you can share it with somebody follow it or mark it as spam so real everything you'd expect and there's a lot of other thunky things you can do so you can add tags if it's a certain thing if it's you know I used to do security so CCTV add a tag to it so people can filter it down edit it do what they need to do with it but that's just a walk around the the ticket itself so we'll just do a bit more setup stuff I'm, I'm wary of this video getting too long for you I think you're getting a gist of what Zodesk can do for you and your company so you can obviously go in like we were talking about there and set up departments so you've got the main had a new department let's call it sales Display name sales. If you've got a logo, you can add it. Associated agent, Sarah Sales, of course. Um, description, description, sales department. And you can obviously add uh, da -da, sales, any emails, channels, charts. Yes, we want emails. So you would put sales. Uh, so that email address we talked about at the start, add email address. Uh, if you want chat to be enabled, you can associate an agent for chat, enable chat, community, you can add stuff in the community, build your web forms out for certain places and and, and create and um, select your brands. So you obviously then you've got sales, so then you can add another one. But then what that means is on the web forms and the places where people sign up, they can actually filter it to say this is a sales question or they can email this emails direct to sales this is for support so that's pretty obvious other basic things would you do products you want to set products up a new product so uh, product name um cctv system product code cctv1 product category hardware description um cctv system obviously you do it properly and then that would mean when somebody went to your web form and they were into um, support, they could pick the product they needed support for. Just so you're getting more information, aren't you, on um, on the ticket before somebody sub submits it to you. Workflows, you can create workflows when a new ticket comes in. Create this, create a task, assign this blueprints as well is sort of the same thing but this is like process management this is to to complete this ticket or this sales ticket you have to do this certain thing and blueprints are an all separate lesson separate area obviously you can manage your agents you can add an agent and all that sort of stuff so there's a lot of things you can do it's fully customizable you can go to your modules you know you can edit things you can move things around if you want to don't want your tickets at the top of your modules you can rename things if tasks or or time entry if contracts you don't you have contracts you have proposals or you have maintenance you have agreements change the name of it layouts and fields so you can change um you can change how things look in your ticket in you can drop in extra fields i want another email i want to add sections so you can really make your your help desk your support center work exactly how you want it to work um, and and dive into creating exactly what you want you know you can you can go through change information you can see you see i think you're getting the point there's settings to change and make it look exactly how you want so i've just seen we're pushing up towards 30 minutes for this video i didn't want to make it too long because it gets too bulky and a lot of people aren't here at the end anyway. But, uh, you know, I think you can see that you can customise and make your desk work. You can manage your tickets. You can assign them. You can you can see who's doing what. You can see at a top level how many tickets a, a week or a day people are doing. People are serving. People are solving. You can see customer feedback. You can do everything you need out of a, out of a desk. Uh, and it's really cool. Part of Zoho One. Uh, and as I say, come to my training. I'm going to build out exactly how to do things. I know I flow through setups in this video, but I'll do a little bit more of a slower. This is how you set up a widget. This is how you do it on a website. If someone comes in and says, how do I add? You know, you just, just create a new topic. How do I add the widget? 
uh, to WordPress, whatever it is, just ask a question, create a topic, I'll dive in, probably create you a video, it helps everybody else. Uh, there's going to be more structured training on the on the main platform, if, if that, that'll be premium, you'll have to pay for it, but if you're part of my Z1 club, if you're part of the, if you've signed up with ZOA1 via me, if you go to z1trial.com, there's information on setting up there, there's information about the Z1 club, the private group, the forum, uh, and being partners. If you if you sign up for ZOA with my partner link, you will get all the training included and some private area uh, forums we've got and uh, some bonuses as well. So that was ZOA Desk. I know I've flown through it. I know I haven't shown you absolutely everything. I haven't given you a full um, a full introduction. But this was this was a beginner. See the value. See what it's capable of. If you're already using ZOA CRM, you can add ZOA uh, Desk to your CRM just to boost customer happiness and and making sure everybody's sorted. Any questions? You know where I am. PaulNicholson.com. Uh, I'm always here to help. So uh, let me know your problems or any questions you've got. Thanks for watching. See you soon.